how do you forecast what a consumer is going to give you their money for? So that's a, it's a risk. You know, you can make something that can hit, you can make something that can fail. Kevin Hart, Seth Curry, Kevin Durant, Lewis Hamilton. These are all the guys that, you know, we've had the blessings to create product for. Davidson started off in real estate and uh, he made a substantial amount of money in real estate using his social media platform. Basically just appearing as this high-end real estate agent. The only way to compete is to know what you're doing, but also to look the part. If you look at you make money, people will want to give you their money to make. You know, I went from polo shirts and baggy pants and square shoes to tailored suits from a to Z. He drove an immense amount of traffic to, towards his Instagram and got an immense amount of clients from it. Before I went to work every day, I would take a photo of my outfit and I would create like an outfit grid of like my shirt, my tie, my shoes, and I put it together. I started to gather a lot of followers who were now interested in buying what I wore. So it got to a point where I was becoming less enticed with actually going to work, but more excited about, hey, what am, what am I wearing to work? So he felt like, you know what, I should just start a fashion brand at this point. About the drift that you did. So, it's dope. Right? Yeah. It's dope. You like it? Yeah. As of right now, we're a startup. We're trying to make money. That's where you're trying to get to, where you feel comfortable enough that the company is self sufficient. Davidson being so bold, I just feel like he kind of doesn't understand what, you know, what th that business aspect until you kind of like just punch it down his throat. When you design as a new brand, you're not going to get business coming in by being safe. Being safe gets you nowhere. Be safe when you have $100 million in your account. When you got zero, take as much risk as you can. I just want you to design what I feel like the world would buy, not what, what they think it's cool, because cool sometimes doesn't, you know, doesn't drive sales. I design for myself, and I design what I want to see people in. That's how any creator should design. You don't design for what you see in a market. You design for what you want to see in a market. From his perspective, he's like, everything's going to sell. <laughs> where I'm more like, you know, obviously these are the colors that were sell just because I'm a consumer. And when I walk into the store, there's not too many people checking for a green. Originally, it's supposed to be an all cobalt blue sneakers. Like, all cobalt blue, bro? Like, come on, how many guys are buying all cobalt blue sneakers? So I was like, damn, you know what, you're right. I know how to take criticism and be constructive about it. They're gonna tell me what they believe, what they think, and what they trust that, hey, if I won't buy it, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna let you design it. So that's why I respect these guys where they're always there to just make sure that I'm doing what's gonna be the most successful for our company.